Hey everyone, today's topic, don't tolerate disrespect. It's incredibly important not to tolerate disrespect from anyone, but especially people you have romantic interests with, whether that's someone you're dating or someone you're in a relationship with. You see, the thing is, if you allow people to disrespect you, over time they will slowly develop absolutely no respect for you whatsoever. And that's a huge problem because when someone doesn't respect someone else, they're going to treat them horribly. They're not going to care how their actions affect that person at all. I mean, when you look at people who have no respect for someone else, that's when really egregious things happen. That's when you get genocide and whatnot because others will view someone they don't respect as being like not even human, as lesser than them. Now, that is a really extreme example, but a very minor form of this can happen when you allow someone to consistently disrespect you so much that they get to that point where they have no respect for you whatsoever. They're obviously not going to do those horrible things to you, hopefully, but they will treat you in really bad ways because you allow it. That's the key thing here. You allow people to disrespect you. Whether or not you realize that, it's the truth. We allow it. We tolerate that behavior and that's basically allowing it. Maybe not condoning it, but you're allowing it to happen, which means people will continue to treat you in those ways. So don't tolerate disrespect from anyone. Stand up for yourself, have a backbone, develop strong boundaries. And a really important thing here to be able to practice all those things is get to a place where you're comfortable losing people in your life. That's the big part because quite often when someone tolerates those immense levels of disrespect, it's because they're afraid of losing whoever is disrespecting them. But if someone is treating you that horribly, why the hell do you want to keep them in your life? Especially if it's someone you're dating or in a, God forbid, in a relationship with them. That's the kind of thing where you want to kick that person to the curb and be gone and <laughs> have, be rid of them for the rest of your life. You do not want to keep people around you who are like this because nobody who is a good person would ever do that to you, even if you allowed it. Even if you have low self-esteem enough to allow people to disrespect you, good people are not going to take advantage of that. So as soon as someone is disrespecting you consistently, that's not a good person you're dealing with. So why keep them in your life? It just, I understand the psychological reasons why people will do this, but I'm making this video to ensure that none of you fall victim to this behavior. Because yes, low self-esteem is a huge reason why people will tolerate this disrespect, that inability for them to lose someone in their life, even if that person is treating them absolutely horribly. I mean, I've often seen it stated that people can kind of, how do I phrase it? They kind of go back to what they're familiar with, to what they know. So if their parents were very disrespectful and maybe even abusive towards them, they'll seek that out in their relationships with other people, be it their friends or even the romantic relationships. And I understand that, but if any of you fall into that category, please go take therapy, get professional help, because you do not want to be allowing people to disrespect you like that. If your parents were absolutely horrible, then go to therapy and help yourself heal from that trauma. Like you do not want to go through life without that help. You'll just end up creating an absolutely horrible situation for yourself and you'll feel stuck in it because you won't have worked on yourself enough to be able to pull yourself out of it. So therapy is a huge thing here for anyone who does have a history of having trauma like that. But for everyone else, just work on having more of a backbone, on being comfortable losing people, as I stated earlier, and just standing up for yourself. Like, do not tolerate disrespect. Whatever you tolerate at the beginning of a relationship with someone, even if they're just a friend and not anyone you have romantic interests with, Whatever you tolerate with them is the way they'll tend to treat you further down the road. So if you allow someone to disrespect you from the very beginning, they're going to be used to that, so they'll treat you in that way, and things will likely get worse rather than becoming better. So don't tolerate disrespect at all, and you won't have that issue. Instead, be comfortable enough, respecting yourself enough, that if someone disrespects you, even if you really like them, Give them a warning, and if they continue to do it, walk the hell away from them. You do not want to keep someone like that in your life. What actually inspired me to make this video is a video I saw on YouTube that 
some of you may have seen it was like a, an Australian version of those Jubilee videos where they have like they basically play like a dating app game but in person we have like one person swiping on a bunch of people but they're all there together physically so it's not happening over a dating app and yeah there was an Australian version of it where you had this guy who was like a model or something he was very fit very buff and he was actually a pretty cool dude from what you could tell and he had like maybe 20 or so women to choose from so he got to swipe left or right on them in person remember as i said so god only knows how weird that must be when you're in that in the shoes of that gentleman but anyway long story short he ended up choosing at the end two women who were absolutely horrible people yeah oh my god like one of them was actually pretty attractive the other wasn't and he was just allowing them to be very disrespectful towards him and he was tolerating it I imagine part of that may have been because he was being filmed so he was thinking like I have to be nice I don't want to look bad but he ended up making himself look incredibly weak which was unfortunate because he seemed like a cool dude but he was letting these women be very rude to him and disrespectful one of them he forgot her name because you know he was dealing with 20 or so women so how the hell are you gonna remember 20 people's names that you just met but this woman was giving him crap for forgetting her name and she actually made him repeat her name three times and it's like what the heck he actually agreed to do it and he did it like if a woman got mad at me for forgetting her name and wanted me to repeat it to her three times to like assert her dominance over me in some power play i would just look at her and be like no screw you bye <laughs> and i would just walk away like what the hell why would you tolerate that kind of disrespect she was basically trying to dominate him that is absolutely horrible and it doesn't set a good precedent for the rest of the relationship should they continue seeing each other now a lot of people theorize he was just looking to get laid so that was why he's tolerating that disrespect probably makes sense because i mean the dude's a model he's probably been around plenty of women who are more attractive so he was just probably looking to have some fun but even then i would say do not tolerate disrespect from anyone just what the hell guys life is too short like don't let anyone treat you in that way respect yourself enough to never tolerate that even if you're just trying to have some fun in the bedroom like don't tolerate disrespect but um yeah that's uh, pretty much the gist of what i wanted to talk about in this video this is something i'm passionate about because i used to get bullied not physically but emotionally when i was younger and it was because i didn't respect myself i had no backbone whatsoever i tolerated that disrespect so of course people treated me in that way now if people do that to me, well it doesn't ever happen but if people were to treat me in that way i just walk away i'd be like nope screw you <laughs> you suck i'm not staying around you have fun picking no i wouldn't condone them picking on other people but you get my point i would not tolerate that behavior so people will only ever treat you in the ways that you allow so do not allow disrespect but um yeah i hope you enjoyed the video if you like content like this be sure to subscribe for more if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like on it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Arrivederci!